welcome and good morning. It's Zoe here. Um, you'll probably be able to tell we're in a different location. Um, I'm happy to be back in my hometown, which is awesome. And we are still continuing with our live lockdown challenge. Today, we are doing a power yoga practice that is really gonna help us strengthen the upper body. It's gonna be the focus today. Um, but the amazing thing about power yoga is that it really works to strengthen all areas of the body. And often with yoga, we think of it as just a way to get more flexible, but in fact, yoga can really help us build strength, get stronger, improve our posture, um, and help us to burn calories when we come at it from the right approach. I actually saw um, a little discussion in our Yoga Burn tribe this morning, which if you haven't joined, make sure you head to groups and on the Facebook page and you'll see the Yoga Burn tribe there. We have over 100,000 amazing, amazing women in that group. And I saw um, somebody say, just to clear things up, just adding yoga into your routine isn't going to help you lose weight. It all comes down to what you're eating. And I read a lot of the comments underneath. There was a whole big discussion. And yes, of course, when it comes to getting into great shape, we need to consider our food and diet choices. Absolutely, I 100% agree. However, we can't just say yoga won't help you lose weight because that's not really covering the full spectrum of what yoga is. Um, you can you know, burn a lot of calories on your mat if you're moving the whole time, doing big full body movements, and there's no denying that adding a power yoga routine into your life is going to help you burn calories, build muscle, which then helps to boost your metabolism. So yes, and no would be the answer, but I really truly believe that yoga is one of the best ways to help slim, tighten, and tone the entire body right from home without any equipment. So um, I would love to hear what your thoughts are on that debate. Of course, if we're doing more restorative yoga, if we're doing meditation, know that it's not designed um, and never, that's not even the purpose of doing those things for helping us to slim down or tighten up. But the right movements and the right routine can definitely help us with that goal, especially if we're consistently doing it three to five times a week, right? We just need the right routine. Um, I have the Yoga Burn Fitness System for Women, which is a 15 minute at home routine that has helped over 100,000 amazing women slim down, tone up, feel amazing in their bodies um, right from home. So I placed a link around this video for you to head on over and check that out if those are your goals. Whereas if you're more focused on just moving your body, feeling good, de-stressing and relaxing, then the Kickstart Kit or Yoga Burn Monthly would be a better choice for you to move from that. So I hope that makes sense. I can't wait to see what your comments are <laughs> below on that. We still got about one more minute or so before we get going. Um, and I have, ooh. Sorry, I'm just reading through these. Yay, I'm happy to see you too. I get common questions about my leggings and stuff like that. Um, these leggings are, I think from like winners or something like that, they're really, really old. But this top that I got in like multiple colors is from Amazon. <laughs> so I should probably start telling you guys my outfits, but that's not why we're here. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, remember, you can shift your comments out of the way just by shifting over to one side. I think it is over to the left on your screen. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me know if the music sounds okay and if everything sounds okay for you. So we're going to come to a comfortable seat on our mat. That could be kneeling, could be cross-legged. Really, any position that's comfortable for you, finding that. Oops. 
Closing down the eyes, lean the head over to one side and roll the chin down along the chest. And going back in the other direction. as they are when they're in a plank. So it's a good little prep move for that. <sighs> little Friday yoga. Let's warm up. Inhale, send the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, get long. Breathe out and fold forward. Hands to the mat, inhale, step back to plank, staying strong in our plank. Couple deep breaths here, and as we're in plank, we're really rolling those eyes of the elbows towards one another, lifting the chest, opening up through the clavicle and the chest. Big breath in to get ready. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly, pointing the toes back behind us. Slide the hands back so they're in line with the middle of the chest and tuck the elbows in tight to our sides. 
We're going to inhale to lift the head, the chest, a couple of ribs. Exhale, come on down. Twice more like this. One more. Press up to the knees, back to a child's pose. So really let those hips sink back towards the heels. Keep the arms actively reaching forward, the fingers spread. Inhale, up to all fours, curl the toes. Exhale to lift the hips, downward facing dog. Three breaths right here. Next inhale, step hop or walk up, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, rise to stand, connect the palms. Breathe out the hands down through heart center. Let's do that same flow, this time one breath per movement. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen the spine. And let it go. Hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Big breath in gets us ready. And we exhale lower all the way down. Cobra pose. Inhale. Exhale down. Up to the knees. Child's pose. Hips back. Up to the knees. Down dog. One full cycle of breath. In our down dog. Inhale, step up, long spine. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, rise to stand, connect the palms. Exhale, hands down through center. Nice job. Little warm up for the shoulder joints. We're gonna have our arms at our sides. You're going to sweep your left arm up and over to the right side. And then just let that arm come all the way down in front of you like a big circle back to center. Like Qigong move. Inhale the other arm up. Exhale, circle it in front. Keep going. Inhale up. Then all we do is the arm comes down in front like we're wiping across. Inhale up. And over, exhale across and down. One more each side. Awesome. Come to center. Bring the palms to touch. Bend the knees for a little chair pose. We're sinking nice and low. Again, draw the shoulders back. Lift and open through the chest and strongly press the palms together. So the core muscles are drawing in, the hips are shifting back, weight is in our heels, we can wiggle our toes. Stay nice and low, circle your arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Step back to plank. Now, either all the way down and cobra, or halfway down and up dog. Press back or curl back, down dog. No rush. Pick that right leg up behind you. And step the foot up between the hips. Start a nice, strong runner's lunge. Bring your hands up the thigh. And drawing the shoulders back over the hips, lunge into that front knee. From there, we're going to reach our arms up overhead, palms facing forward. Inhale, get long, get tall. Exhale, bring your elbows down to the sides, making a big W with your upper body. Inhale, big reach. Pull down. Three more. Like this. 
warm it up through that upper body. Awesome job. Reach the arms up nice and high. Turn your palms towards one another. You can either just keep the arms reaching up or clasp all but the pointer and thumb. Send the hips forward, draw the chest back. From there, we're carefully going to lower the left hand down to the mat. Keep it nice and light so you're not sinking into that left hand. We're nice and light on that side. Reach your right arm high up to the sky. And what you're going to do is inhale and lower the arm out in front of your chest so it's parallel to the floor. And then exhale, twist and open. Four more. Five is our number today. Lower, parallel to the floor. Lift, twist. Open up. Two more. Starting to feel that heat in the legs, right? One more. Hold open. Draw the shoulders back. Turn your chest to that right wall. One more breath here. Nice job. Release the hands down. Bend that back knee. Step the back foot up to meet the front one. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we fold. Rise to stand. Step the big toes close together. Bring the hands down through heart center. Chair pose. Weight in the heels. Breath is smooth. Breath is steady. Circle the arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, fold. Nice and smooth, lengthen. And lower, palms to the mat. Inhale, deep plank. Either halfway down in cobra, or all the way down in cobra, or halfway down in up dog. Down dog. Lift that left leg high. Step the foot up between the hands. Rise up strong. So you're strong through that back glute. Pressing the hips forward, opening the chest. Send your arms high to the sky. Nice deep lunge. We want to check that that front knee isn't collapsing in. It's open over top of the ankle. Inhale, reach high, palms forward. Exhale, pull down, big W. Reach high. Big W. Three more like this. Trying to strengthen all the muscles around the shoulder blades. Reach up, get long, get long. Tip forward, right hand towards the mat. Hips sink nice and low. Left arm reaches high in our twist. Inhale, lower the arm to parallel to the floor, out in front of your chest. Exhale, twist and open. Four more. Really squeezing that shoulder. Two more. Last one. Hold it up and open. Hands to the mat. Bend that back knee. Step the back foot up to meet the front one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to Stand. Touching the palms overhead. Exhale the hands down through heart center. Nice job. From there, what we're going to do is stand up 
nice and tall with the feet hip width distance apart and reach your arms all the way out to the side. So you're stretching the arms out to the side. Bend the elbows at 90 degrees. Shrug your shoulders up and then pull them down. So think you're trying to spread the shoulder blades apart. Pardon me, you're spreading the clavicle apart, squeezing the shoulder blades together in your back. A couple times you're gonna rotate the palms down, then back. Ooh. I love movements like this because they strengthen the rotator cuff. That's like a group of muscles around the shoulders. They're great for our posture and they also help to build up this side and back of the shoulder, which are the muscles that make the arms look fit. When the shoulders look fit, the rest of the arms look fit. So down, up. Keep the knees bent, softness. In those knees, core muscles pulling in. Try five more, five. <sighs> Breathe, you're doing so good. Three, two, last one. Hold the arms back. Then we're gonna bring the arms forward and turn your palms to face your face and then open back up, palms forward. So close. Open, close, open. Make sure those elbows aren't dropping down here. Keep them up in line with your shoulders. Pull the ribs in, I just saw mine flare forward. So you wanna make sure that we're not letting this happen. Keep the core pulled in strong, just the arms, four, Three, two, bring the arms together and hold in front of you, little pulses up. So try and squeeze the elbows together, little pulses up, shoulders down, little pulses up. 10 to go, then we're out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, elbows together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Circle the arms all the way down. Standing tall with the big toes together. Inhale the arms high. Exhale forward fold. Lengthen. Lower. Step back to plank and hold. Breathing, breathing in our plank. Lower down to your forearms in your plank, so you're nice and strong from the forearms. Little challenge, try turning your palms up. Woo, draw the shoulders back and down. A couple times, just shift your weight forward, then back. Shift your weight forward, then back. Breathe, we're moving into some stretching after this. So this is the real challenge right here. Breathe deep. Four more, then we're gonna hold back for five breaths. Three, two, last one. Hold back, step your feet together, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your bum, squeeze your core. Push the mat away with the forearms, spreading those shoulder blades apart, breathing nice and deep. Five, four, three, stay with it, stay with it, two, one more breath, ah, lower the knees down, slide on back to child's pose, nice work.
Press the hands and arms down into the mat alongside your body. Chin tucked in towards the chest. We're going to press into the feet and lift the hips for a bridge pose. So the knees are open in line over the ankles. You can stay right there or clasp the hands beneath you. Then walk the shoulders in towards one another. Opening across the chest. Big deep breaths into the belly. Nice job. Release the hands. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Then we're going to reach the left arm out and roll right over onto your left side. Now if it's not very comfortable on your neck, you can fold that left arm underneath your head, making a little pillow like this. Your knees are bent in line with your hips. Reach your right arm forward. Here's what you're gonna do. Inhale, circle that right arm all the way overhead. Turn and open through the chest. Then exhale, back up over the head, arm in front of the chest. So again, you're circling overhead. Turn and open through the chest, keeping the knees together, and circle back. Great one for the back, as well as improving the flexibility in the chest and shoulder. Next time you're there, stay there, let the arm open up. One more breath right here. Circle the arm back overhead, out in front. Come down onto your back, squeezing, squeezing. Now all you're gonna do is lay over to the right side. I'm just gonna move a bit so that you can still hear me, okay. So, we're down on our right side. The right arm could always be a pillow for the head. The left arm is out in front of the chest. Inhale, circle it up overhead. Twist, open the chest. Ah, exhale, back to center. Good, a couple times. <sighs> Next time, that arm is open, that left arm, let's hold our twist. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. 
in, I know it is a different location, but um, yeah, I hope you had a great practice and enjoyed that. I'm definitely moving a little bit slower today. I'm a little sore and stiff today from travel, but we're getting there together. So I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If you do want, um, again, to practice with me more regularly, be sure to tap the link I placed for you around this video and head on over to check it out. I'm wishing you an amazing day. Big hugs, lots of love, bye-bye.